Hey, I'm Sam Richardson, co-founder and brewmaster of Other Half Brewing Company. Well, Sam, are you ready for the lightning round? We're gonna answer some questions that have come from uh, some of your viewers on Instagram. I'm ready, let's do this. All right, Sam, what's your favorite style of beer? This is always a hard one, but I think my favorite style of beer is West Coast IPA because it's what I learned was craft beer originally. So, and I just, I like IPAs. It's probably my second favorite is New England style IPA just because IPA is something I love. Where does black IPA rank for you? I think number three. And then I think everyone wants to know, what's your favorite black IPA that other half brewing makes? Oh, my favorite other half black IPA is Doug, without a doubt. Everybody knows that. I think people just wanted to see you, hear you talk about Doug. Diamond Mausoleum for second place though. Is there a, a beer you haven't had the chance to brew that you would want to? And I think we could expand that now that you've done all these Freaky Fridays. Is there a, is there a beer by somebody else that you wish that you could make a version of? As far as beer styles, I think we've tackled most of the ones I'm excited about. As far as just brewing a beer with our Freaky Friday series, probably my, my go-to. If I could get somebody to do it, would be Celebration Ale with Sierra Nevada. What is your go-to other half beer in your fridge? I think for me, the go-to would have to be all Citra, um, just because I think it defines what other half is. It's the epitome of what we're trying to do through hop selection, and it's such a singular focused beer. I think it really showcases our brewing technique and also the hops that we're selecting and how they're important to the beer. How do you get inspiration for new beers? A number of places. Sometimes it's just current events. Sometimes it's music related, culture, something we, an inside joke in the office. As far as the names go and the concepts, as far as the, the actual liquid itself, it's more about trying new hop combinations, uh, trying brand new hops, also throwing the occasional lager in there. What beer made you want to become a brewer in the first place? For me, the beers that, that motivated me to be a brewer, growing up on the West Coast, a lot of the early IPAs were inspirational. The Bridgeport Brewing Company IPA, Tarnahan's, breweries like that. But probably the thing that really got me really interested was living really close to Hair the Dog Brewing Company. They were one of the earlier breweries that were making more esoteric beer styles. They weren't focused on selling beers in four pack to a grocery store. They think their focus was more trying to cater to beer nerds. And at that moment, that really resonated with me. What is your guilty pleasure beer? Sierra Nevada Pale Ale drinker, maybe a Stella Artois. Uh, for you, it would be Wells Banana. I don't think I have to actually feel guilty about this, but it's definitely Sierra Nevada celebration every every winter, getting that beer. I just want to get it in your head so you can think about it. It says, uh, Mary Kill, Citra, Motu, Apple, Simcoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sam, best hop, worst hop. So I'd have to say in the realm of hops, my favorite is Motu Eka. Complex, makes, amazing IPAs. It also makes amazing lagers. It's really diverse. It's lemon lime character is spot on. It's not too harsh. Plays well with other hops, plays well by itself. Probably my least favorite hop. There's a number that are pretty close here, but Challenger is, it's a UK grown hop. It's just not within our profile. There's nothing we make really works with that hop. And it's got a spicy black currant character that I'm not super fond of, so. It's not for me, but I'm sure some people love it. You're gonna really set off the challenger heads in the comments, but they'll they'll make sure their voice is heard. I'll challenger everything. All right, we got a really important question from someone on Instagram. When are we getting Florida plates again? Classic Jay Wakefield collab. No idea. That's always that's always a surprise for us as well. Sometimes it just happens. And why is it called Florida plates? Oh, that that name came about because everybody in New York that's trying to avoid paying higher fees for driving in New York has Florida plates. Do you guys have any plans to ever open a tap room in the great state of New Jersey? Not currently. We don't currently have any plans to open in New Jersey. It's a more challenging tap room environment for sure. What about a tap room in Europe? Uh, like your good friends at Outer Range Brewing in Frisco, Colorado? No plans for that. Are you sure? It's a very difficult thing to do. We could, and I think you guys need an operational lead out there probably. I'm assuming you're suggesting yourself. Uh, hats in the ring, yeah. <laughs> what is your least favorite drink? And I'm assuming this is alcoholic, non-alcoholic, the whole shebang. Well, 
I live in Brooklyn, so this is gonna be blasphemous, but I hate natural wine. It's just the truth. I don't. I love dad wine, and I'm gonna stick with that. That's true. I've seen quite a few uh, like California Reds come through your desk. <laughs> so my dad drinks too, Sam. I also like French wines. Coolest place you've ever had a beer? I had just done hop selection with some German hop brokers, and they wanted to take us hiking. So we did an overnight hike with them. We hiked to these huts that are at the top of the mountains in, in the Austrian Alps, and people stay at the huts overnight as they're hiking. But they also have these kind of amazing panoramic views of the mountains all around. You just sit and have a nice German lager. Pretty amazing place to drink a beer. What's your favorite beer festival? My you can't favorite, say Green City. Oh, come on. Probably my favorite beer festival, and, and this is a close one because there's a lot of amazing ones, but just for location of the of the event itself and the venue, probably uh, Tallinn Beer Fest in Estonia. It's in an old Soviet era power plant, and the venue's amazing. Tallinn's an amazing city, and the folks at Pohala are, are amazing hosts and really fun people. So probably gonna rank that as my highest. And here's a question that, that finally caters to your personal interests. What's your favorite mountain bike trail? Ooh, my favorite mountain bike trail is definitely the 401 trail right outside of Crested Butte, Colorado. It's an amazing trail that has amazing views of all the mountains around and drops through this valley from down from about 12,000 feet. It's an amazing ride. Uh, and then the last one here, if you could have a beer with any three people, living or dead, who would they be? I hope living people. <laughs> uh, let's see, who would I have a beer with? Joe Hare. Cool. I have no idea. <laughs> I have to do this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have to think about that one for later. Uh, that is all the questions. All right, we're gonna need B-roll later of Sam draining that pint.